Okay, y'all. So we were trying to go live on Janelle's page. My son is being very rude. It's so dirty. But I'm gonna try to hear. Okay, well, go get another one, Orion. There we go. Okay. Yay. All right. Okay. Excuse my son. He just don't care about my life okay, at all. Worry. It's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Can you wait? You, ha you have to wait, baby. Okay. It's going to be all right. Well, go, go in there and get another shirt. Go ahead. You got a whole room to yourself. Go get another shirt. Okay. All right. Hopefully this is better. Might just be. Is that better? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is the connection good? I can hear you now. Yeah. Oh man. It's my Wi-Fi. I don't know if like my Wi-Fi is making it worse or what. I, I don't know. <laughs> Social media is just retrograding it without yeah all right let's see hey everybody come on in i mean i kind of figured but i was just like i'm gonna try anyways like yeah <laughs> I, mean, I mean you know what i mean you never know yeah yeah all right so we okay. were trying to go live on Janelle's page about this so we decided to do it over yes. here um make sure you are following mm -hmm. her as well and um, I'll pass the mic to her. All right. So uh, just very briefly, like I was saying before, before, you know, everything got cut off is that the whole point of this is to allow people to be able to see that I'm not trolling, <laughs> that there are other men and women that are out here that are experiencing issues on a vegan diet. And yeah, it is super glitchy. Uh, well, if it continues to be super glitchy, then we may have to just reschedule it just so we can get good content. But if not, if it irons out, then we should be fine. So let's just yeah, definitely let us know. Yeah, we're working on it, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, like it's other men and women out here that are experiencing issues with veganism and. You know, it's like so many different, quote unquote, ways you can do it and ways that it can be, it's starting to play up a bit. Okay, cool. It's so many different ways that you can do it or whatever, but it's just like, not really. Like, you know, it's like, if you have to be a scientist with your food, how natural is that? You know, like how natural really is that? To be real, I grew up, I'm, I'm Geechee and I'm Cuban, right? So like, I, I grew up growing my food. I grew up hunting, fishing, like. This is what we did. And so it's just like, there's no way you can sustain yourself truly on a vegan diet if you're really eating off the earth. It's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of times, you know, we don't understand that depression, paranoia, the lack of energy, the fatigue, the arthritis, all of these pains, they are stemming from veganism. They're stemming from us not getting a really balanced diet and it has nothing to do with you doing it wrong. You should still be getting nutrients from your food. I'm talking about you're totally lacking nutrients that you're saying you're getting, you're not getting that from your food. And these are symptoms that we all had. These are things we all experienced. And we were all doing it like on a high level. Like this woman here, myself, we're not just, you know, just some random people who just like have no understanding of the body or anything like that you know i was a trainer for seven years in biomechanics you can't hear us can everyone else hear us can you hear me now okay so i was a tra i was a trainer for seven years and but can you hear me yeah okay. i can hear you all right i was a trainer for seven years in biomechanics and I don't know if anyone else can hear y'all. Let's see. I'm going to beat on. Okay, she said yes, she can. 
She said okay. today, because I was about to be on a thousand. <laughs> right. <laughs> Damn, Instagram. Okay, it's breaking up again. All right, am I back? Can you hear me? No. I still can't hear anything. Oh, I'm on mute. That's probably why. Conchito, <laughs> mommy, no. Se llamaste? <laughs> I was just on mute. I was just on mute. <laughs> but it needed to be reset anyway, so whatever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So can everybody hear us? I don't know if me being muted muted you, but please give some hearts, comments, something. Let us know. Hilarious. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. That is so funny. I don't know who's still on here. I think everybody had to reset too. Yeah, still come back. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we're back on track. Hilarious. Hey, everybody that's on. Thank you for your patience. I was thinking, I was like, maybe I should go live on YouTube instead. Yeah. But, I didn't even think of that, doing um, maybe Zoom, streaming Zoom through YouTube. Yeah. Um, well, no, I just have, like, um, I just have a, a StreamYard account, and then I just go live oh. through StreamYard. But I just okay. sent you a link, and you can click on that. But... Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, I was planning on um, uploading this to my YouTube, too, just in case people can't, you know. Can't see it. Thank you. Okay. So I think we're good now. More people are coming on. Girl, uh, you are funny. <laughs> I'm telling you, I did not know. <laughs> I was muted. I was trying to keep my son from 
Mm. My Scorpio child, he just he just don't That's be caring. Cool. So <laughs> try to get him to calm down. So all right. I okay. think we're good. All right, well, so yeah, the the purpose of this is to just allow people to hear that, you know, people are having issues on this vegan diet. So uh let me go ahead and just get into the questions that I have for you. Okay. And um yeah, so that way we can keep it. Yeah. All right. So, how long were you vegan, and what made you like become vegan? Like, what was that turning point for you? Why did you? Do that? Um, I was vegan. I would say I started the journey around twenty three or twenty four. One of my main reasons for going vegan was my digestive system, and because of the chronic issues I was having with my womb at the time. So. I was having like really bad yeast infections. Um, you know, most of the symptoms of your digestive system inside up. Um, I was just finishing college. I think that's when I realized like something's wrong. And when I once I graduated, I started getting into the vegan slash vegetarian lifestyle. Um, so yeah, that was the main reason for me to start. And then I kind of went, you know ape shit <laughs> and um i was saying that prior to going completely vegan i did get into um our vedic medicine which is um more so of holistic health that is studied on in the eastern world so india for example and they go off of your doshas so your doshas essentially the natural elements that are already flowing through your body and based on what elements are the most dominant they based that on, okay, these are the things that you should be eating. And from what I saw, they were more about moderation. It wasn't about you can't eat dairy. You can't, it was, it was not restrictive. It was very, honestly, I, if I would have stuck with that, it would have been straight, <laughs> you know, but because at that time that I was going, um, you know, vegan, that was when Dr. Savy was big and the veganism thing blew up. That's when I first, you know, started to experience a lot of people to kind of hop in on the bad wagon things like that and um yeah so i went to a practitioner he told people calling me my son is doing whatever sorry y'all this is just life but um she told me what i was most dominant in so i'm mainly earth and fire um if you have a natural uh what do you call it affinity to fire in your body for me, that meant I couldn't, for example, I couldn't eat a lot of spicy foods. Spicy foods, fire, inflammation. I love it, but I can't eat too much of it because it fires me up in the inside and it's, it's not that good, you know, for me and eating too much of it. So just as an example, earth foods, root, root foods, perfect for me. I mean, I'm a person that likes beets raw, so <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, that's where I started. And then I just because of I'll be honest, because of the influences that were happening in the spiritual conscious community at the time, I started getting into veganism. And I've just started to drop a lot of the stuff I was eating. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop there. I know you have more questions for me. But yeah. <laughs> no, but, no, that's perfect. You know, I mean, if you answer it, you just answer it. Alone. Just ask okay. It. Um, but yeah, no, I just wanted to know, cause like, I know for me, it was like, it was the conditioning of watching, like learning about being black and not being a slave basically. <laughs> and then like the vegan paradigm doctrine sliding into that too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was like that on top of, oh, this is also the best way for me to be healthy too. Like that, mm -hmm. you know, so it just kind of like melted all together. Mm -hmm. And I'm always curious because for me, it was like I stopped eating cheese. Good, my toes and tired. I can't have mm -hmm. a lot of it. I can't have certain amounts of Greek yogurt. You know what I mean? I can. And I do have certain amounts of it. Um, but, you know, it's just like for me, I was just like, I'm always curious, like, what? put you over the edge, you know what I mean? To be like, to hell with all the meat. Like, you know, no, 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 no. No to everything, you know? Mm -hmm. Because like for me to know like I would be, I, I would go out to eat sometimes and I remember one time, bro, I ordered some sweet potato fries and there were little pieces of animal like fried skin, like chicken skin. Oh my God. 
that were like in the you know what I mean? like a piece of chicken fried chicken in the I was like oh, I was so hot <laughs> girl I made such a scene you know I was that kind of person like that kind of vegan person you know mm -hmm. so it's like to go from to go from like oh okay I don't mind I'm just eating vegan to like being no I don't want any animal products no vegan blah I'm looking down on people like I'm not saying it but I literally am looking down on people I'm like mm -hmm. you know you're not as you don't really know because you eat meat still you know right right so was that like that for you it's like as far as like the spiritual aspect of it yeah like um I do remember having that moment where I was like I think my last line of defense was fish <laughs> I cut everything off except for fish and then again because of the influence of what was going on in our communities and what was being said all i needed to hear was oh fish has mercury which we all know you know and so i, I cut that it was for me if i had to be very honest it was more fear-based you know um and then i realized that no, i actually need fish like i'm from baltimore maryland i'm from a port city I'm currently in Eastern Shore, which is on the other side of Maryland. I'm a I'm a coast girl, you know, <laughs> like seafood. I need it, I, you know, but I cut that off too, and um, it was great at first. I had a really good time uh, coming up with different recipes, getting really creative with how to cook without certain things and adding more things. I I did improve um, the nutrition in my foods. I had a lot of fun, and that was. For me, if I'm having fun and I'm getting joy out of it, I continue to do it. Um, I was also a, a performing belly dancer at the time, you know, working out. I was doing a lot. So I was honestly burning more than I was eating. And I didn't realize it until, you know, it got to the point where people were like, girl, you're so small. You're kind of looking sick. Like, what's, you know, what's going on? And I didn't notice it at first. You know, when you're inside your own body, Mm -hmm. You don't get it. And then later on, you're like, oh, my God, I have all these problems. Something's up, you know. So at first it was great, you know, and I did start to have that moment. I didn't really talk about it, but I did start to have that moment where I was like, oh, they eat meat. They, you know, meat started when I took it out of my system and replaced it with beans. That was like the first thing I did. Um, when I would go back to eating it, I noticed how sluggish I was. But the things that I know now at almost 33 and the things that I didn't know then, if I could go back and tell her, girl, <laughs> you know, just fast, just do these things, you'll be good. Um, yeah, but, you know, we live and we learn. <laughs> and I was, But, yeah, it was like I was getting the benefits, but I didn't know that it was also putting me in a deficit on the other side. And, um, again, because I'm a sensuality and wellness coach, when I saw that my womb, I was still having issues. I was like, okay, something's up. You know, I still was having um, fibroids, you know, um, cheese. Yeah. It, uh, dairy in general, that was something that I, it took me, it took me, that was like the last thing I, I took off my diet. Um, that was around the time where there were so many companies. It was like vegan cheese, this cheese substitute that. So it was almost like, we went vegan at the time where all of this stuff was beginning to blow up. And the way that things are now, they're just like commonplace. But back then, it was just becoming a thing. And so I replaced those things with fake things, you know. And then it was, okay, is soy good enough? Because most of these products that are being made for people who are becoming vegan and vegetarian, mm -hmm. especially with their transition, Tons of soy, right? And yeah, like somebody said, it sounds like the hormones were in flux. Yes, my hormones were in flux. And at that time, you know, I was still coming into the person that I am now. I wasn't a coach then, you know, everything that I learned and was doing, you know, I was doing it solely from my personal journey. So yeah, it was, it got to that point and um, <laughs> I was still having yeast infections. I did develop some yoni semen herb blends for myself. I was doing that all the time. I mean, clumps of yeast were coming out, just, you know, PMI, but it's the truth, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yep, vegan baking goods, yeast and bread, like, all of those things, you know, I was still dealing with, but I think I was like, well, I'm not eating meat, so I'm okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I was doing juice cleanses as well, which is something that, you know, no matter what eating lifestyle you're on, it's so great, but 
my input was not as much as what I was outputting. And so, like I said, there's always going to be a deficit with that. So, yeah. Hey, everybody. Okay. Hey, hey, y'all. Just waving at everybody. Oh, there she is. Okay. It's like, from my connection is that. All right. Um, so what symptoms did you start to experience? Like, what was that moment where you were like, okay, no, something is wrong. Like, this is not working for me. And because, and, and I say that because this, this is the thing. Oftentimes you see, and see, like, when I was doing veganism, I was creating products. I was selling detoxes. I was, you know, I was a part of that. I was a trainer, so I was also doing meal plans. I was also, you know what I mean? I was, like, really involved with it. Uh, like, Miss Boone, she produced a, documentary that I was also a part of mm -hmm. so I was like really in the forefront telling people like hey you know like you know producing books telling people about being electric and alkaline and all this kind of stuff you know and um I just say that to say that I saw behind the scenes of that of that scene too to where like a lot of the people who are you know telling people now and their influences on the vegan scene because like you said I also came up like this is old for us you know what I mean like this is really old for us and we now have had the experience of being like, whoa, we've had this much time to say that this is not working. Like, <laughs> and a lot of people now are just getting into it. They're just, you know, not, they're fresh. They're a few years in, you know, and it's just like, it's just like when you are in the behind the scenes, you start noticing something. You start noticing that people start to always have this magic potion for something, right? And it's like you have to be like hmm why is it that you're always developing something but really it's this deficit that people are experiencing there comes a point when you try to make your food taste like meat you really want that mm -hmm. like you really want to make your food bleed like meat like you it's like you want it you know what I mean? like you want that and then there comes a point when you start to be like hmm my skin is doing this this my body's doing this let me find this ex this exotic oil to make. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me do all this crazy, all this stuff. You start getting into all this stuff, and it's not to say that those things are bad. It's just that you start to notice that something's wrong. Yeah, and we don't really we don't really think that it's veganism. We don't think it's our diet. We don't think it's nutrition. Why you you know what I mean? I didn't think it was. So I was always curious. What was it that started to be like, mm, this is something wrong with this? Um, I would say, it, like I said before, it was when other people were looking at me like, girl, <laughs> mm. what's wrong? <laughs> you know, like, I'm thinking, oh, you know, I'm lean. I got all this energy, you know, things like that. Um, I remember I went to go, me and my belly dance troupe, the troupe that I was a part of at that time, um, we went out to eat after a performance and, you know, went to go get pizza. And I was like, oh, you know, I, I'm not doing the dairy thing right now. So I need an alternative. And the place that we were at, it just happened to have one. And one of the ladies that I danced with, you know, she was one of the ones that were was familiar with the vegan vegetarian lifestyle. I don't think she was at that time, but she had experience with it. And she was also in the medical field. And she looked at me across the table and she said, fat boy. Um, are you getting your B12? You know, I think I think you need some B vitamins, you know. And I was like, I kind of got offended, like, what you trying to say? <laughs> you know, and she didn't look like us, so I was really like, what you trying to say? <laughs> you know, so I was like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and then it, it kind of stuck with me, like, okay, maybe I missed something, you know. I need to, I need to look into this and see what's going on. Um, and like I said, other people were saying, like, oh, you know. You got, you know, I had darker circles under my eyes, um, which is connected to, of course, anemia and the lack of B vitamins and hydration, oxygen in the body. And um, like I said, I was still having yeast issues and they did ease up a little bit, but I was still dealing with that. So like somebody was saying, leaky gut, still had stuff going on with my gut. Um, yeah, I was like, I was small. I was, my frame is small. But it was like, it didn't look healthy on me, even though I thought, you know, I thought I was good. And I would say, yeah. would you stop? Excuse my son, y'all. He's just, I am about to talk about him. Um, it, 
I oh, knew something was wrong when I started to dream about meat. And that was probably several months before I conceived this little wiggly swiggly toddler that's here right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I started dreaming about fish. And I was like, why do I have keep having dreams about fish? What, you know, what's going on? I can't eat that right now. It's got mercury in it, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I went to stay with a friend in Georgia for a little while and She's very intuitive. She's like, Tasha, if you're dreaming about meat, I started craving it. Like, for me, I never, mm -hmm. the, the, the taste of meat never repulsed me. Mm -hmm. I never kind of went through that. It was just a kind of a, I don't want this no more. <laughs> you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, because I know a lot of people now say, oh, I just can't stand the taste mm -hmm. of meat. It was not, I didn't like the way it was making my body feel after I it's ate awesome. it. You know, um, the way my face was breaking out, things like that. So, I was experienced like experiencing both spectrums at the same time. Please stop. Um, and yeah, it was. I said, she said, "Look, we going to the Ethiopia, uh, Ethiopian restaurant. We gonna eat. <laughs> I will make you some fish. I will make you some tilapia. We want to eat." And so this was at this point. This was maybe like two months before I conceived my son. And um, when I got home. I, I went to the grocery store and I bought as much salmon as I could. And I just, as soon as I ate it, I just felt alive. <laughs> I felt alive. And then not too long after that, I conceived my baby, you know? And so I tried to stay, I think at that point I was 27. Mm -hmm. So I would say that this whole period for me was about four years, four, four and a half, five years. Um, and my children are the ones that pretty much ended <laughs> me being vegan and vegetarian because I could not sustain my health being pregnant. I, I couldn't. Um, when I first got pregnant with him, you know, I had went back to eating pescatarian. So I had already started eating fish, feeling much better. Um, I went back to eating a little bit of cheese. My, I don't know why but my children, they they want me to eat cheese, <laughs> you know? So I was like, okay, I'll do a little provolone, you know, that's, you know, I was very uh, limited. Uh -huh. I'm just laughing, you're talking about, yeah, I do a little provolone. Yeah, I do a little provolone, you know, and um, it worked because I had a lot of milk <laughs> when he came out, but um, yeah, it, it was, I was pescatarian for, I would say up until five or six months pregnant, and then my doctor, she looked at me and she was like, you gonna have to get an arm infusion because your anemia is not it's, it's not getting better now I will backtrack a little bit um, maybe about two years stop maybe about two years before I um, got to that point I did go see a natural path I did at that point I was like I gotta see what's going on with my body um, I highly recommend naturopathic doctors over, over regular doctors first of all because they take their time with you but they are very very thorough um, they did my blood work. It was a whole blood analysis, nutrients, everything, the whole nine. It was, I had like a little packet of what my, what my nutrient levels were, mineral levels and where they were supposed to be. And everything was low. <laughs> everything, you know, we know that certain vitamins affect other vitamins, certain hormones affect other hormones. So everything was jacked up, you know? Um, she told me you're very anemic. She actually was like, I don't even know how you're sitting in front of me right now. You should be in the hospital. Mm. My number was a two, two or four, or something like that. She was like, I don't know how you're sitting, you're an anomaly. I don't know how you're sitting in front of me. And she was like, you just probably need to really eat some red meat. That's what I was told verbatim from a naturopathic doctor. Like, I want to really tell you just eat some red meat, <laughs> you know? Wow. And she, she mentioned uh, infusion, but I thought she meant a blood infusion. So I was like, Oh, no, I don't want nobody else's blood in me. Like, ill. Like, what energy lights, what they got going on with them? She said, no, we're going to, you got to do something, you know. Um, so I never went back to her because I'm still in now. <laughs> and um, go get your tab, baby. Go get your tab. And um, I was just, you know, out of sorts. But, I, you know, because I had an official confirmation, please stop. Sorry, y'all. My son is being so rude. Goodbye. Go. I'm kicking you out. Um, I just... I had a hard time accepting it because I was like, I'm, okay, but you have to be quiet, all right? 
You can't be messing with my stuff. I had to be honest about what was going on with me. I, it was in my face. I was like, clearly I was not doing all of the things I needed to do. <laughs> you know, it was something I was missing. And now I had to replenish my body. So fast forward to when I got pregnant, I didn't have, I, I didn't have a choice. I needed to do something because it would affect the health of my baby who was super healthy right now. Um, so I got the arm infusion. I was very, you know, skeptical about that, but it was dire at that point. Um, I wasn't having a lot of symptoms. Um, I would say I was on the verge of fainting quite a few times. I guess that would be considered major. <laughs> but, you know, um, I talked to my doulas about it, and I was like, if you feel like you need to do this, then, you know, do it. So I got it. And um, when I came home, I was a little, a little tired. But I felt a change in my body almost instantly. Um, when I was anemic, it didn't matter how hot it was. I was always in the sun because I always needed heat, right? Um, when I got that arm infusion, when I got my levels balanced, I started having hot flashes. And I was told that that's normal because, hey, your body is finally starting to register. Like, hey, we got heat. We good. <laughs> you know, we have oxygen. We're good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was that was the beginning when I when people were saying, oh, you know, you need some B vitamins, you're looking kind of, they didn't want to really say it, but they did say it, like, you know, you're looking kind of sick, what's going on, um, the way I was still having womb issues, and then also, um, like I said, when I went to the natural path and actually got my levels checked to see what was going on and knew that, hey, we're off, we gotta, we gotta fix something, and then, of course, pregnancy, so... Yeah. Needless to say, um, after I got the arm infusion, I ate beef for a week <laughs> and chicken. I went back to all of those things. And um, I was going to ask the question, like, since you're already talking about it, how was it when you first ate meat again? What does that feel mm -hmm. like? Um, the best way I can say it is I felt alive. I felt yeah. alive. That's the best way I can. I, I felt like my body was like, I'm very in tune with my body. Hey, I'm very in tune with my body, so, excuse me, guys, I'm so sorry, he's being super rude, um, I, I felt alive, I felt like my body, there's this thing that your body does when you get what you're supposed to get, yeah. it's almost like it goes, <sighs> okay, it's a wave yeah. of that, it's a wave of energy, I don't know if other people, you know, get that, but for me, it's like, oh my god, like, you know, we we are we are breathing now. <laughs> That's what I felt, and um, I had to get through a lot of resistance with myself because I, I, for me, I'm a Capricorn. I'm like, look, I put all my work into getting healthy. Now I gotta go backwards. I gotta go fucking backwards. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, but it was for my life. I had to, you know, I had to do it, and um, I started looking at my. The, the vegan friends a little funny like y'all ain't telling the truth like yeah. <laughs> y'all look you know it's some it's some things that were off and then I just stopped focusing on what other people were doing and I focus more on well how do I feel in my body what I need you know um I let go of all the titles I was like I'm a Tarsitarian whenever whatever my body says I need to eat mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to eat <laughs> And um, I started to fast. Like for me, um, the blood type that I have, I can't have too many grains and I can't have too many starches. Get your apple on the table. I can't, you know, it's certain things that I can't have too much. It overloads my system. I still know that about myself. Yeah. But I also know if I stop eating it <laughs> for like a day or two and fast and get some more high, some fluids in me and some herbs and some veggies and things like that, my body naturally will process it and we're good <laughs> you know so it was almost like okay I have nothing to be afraid of um and I think I personally believe this is something someone said to me a while ago like if you're giving your body the right nutrients it's going to naturally detox it has to because you're, you're balancing out like that's not to say to not do the things but that's part to me that's part of the process like if you know what you're getting mineral wise, nutrient wise, whether it's from food or herbs or whatever, your body is going to naturally push out the things that it doesn't need. It's not going to hold on to them as much, you know. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and here I, we are. I always yeah. ask because I always ask because it's like, like, no matter what I, I again, I post things that 
you know, kind of shock people and just disrupt mm -hmm. the pattern because I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy it. So mm -hmm. I do that. Uh, however, like, I, I, I think it's really important for, um, for people to, uh, to understand that, like, uh, when you are going from not eating meat for years uh, and then you eat meat again, there is a certain, and you said it like that, awe. it's like this satisfaction. It literally is like scratching an itch that you didn't mm -hmm. know what you were looking to scratch for. Like you didn't know you needed it. Mm -hmm. And that way, but it's like when you get it, you'd be like, oh, that's what it was. And that's how I felt when I yeah. ate that. Oh, it was like literally my whole body started to twitch. Like literally, I was sitting still just like twitching. Like you're up. <laughs> And, and I'm sitting there like my brain just feels like it's like somebody poured olive oil all over my brain and I'm sitting there and I'm like I yeah. started crying girl I was eating that salmon crying because I was like I literally have been killing myself like starving myself for six plus years you know what I mean I'm sitting there like what the fuck I mean really just my body girl I was just it was so much that was happening between me eating that fish and me digesting the fish because in my mind too I'm like paranoid I'm like oh so um am I gonna have dreams about this fish being in the ocean and having and being killed I girl I, I mean I was there with it you know mm -hmm. and I mean like just feeling my body be like yes like it was like it was happy like it was doing a little dance you know a real thing <laughs> yeah For real. And, it was, and it was just like that's the taste i've been looking for i've been trying to get that smoked paprika to taste like mm. this for so long it's just yes. not. <laughs> the smoked paprika don't taste the same as the oxtails girl <laughs> it'll never taste the same okay mm -hmm. it's like that's what it was and so like when people when people get on my page and i post those things i post I laugh because not only do I have the experience and I have the documents and the science behind it, I also have that that moment right there where I was just like my body was just like no, to hell with that. Yeah. yeah, I've been trying to get you to eat meat for months, girl. Did you not get those dreams I kept right. sending your ass? Like I got all this fish. What's going on? <laughs> I remember I had a fish, but I literally went to a marketplace and. <laughs> got fish now at that time i had just received him so i had my own strength. like people had fish strength, but then i had my own i guess whatever but my body was like you need to get this please and everywhere that i was location wise that i was going was near the sea i was mm -hmm. around the water and some kind i got somebody on here right now she, you know, i was in california like yeah i need some fish <laughs> you know so it's it is a real thing and i i always always encourage body press when you know your body and you're being intuitive um with your body that's what you should that's really what you should go off of beyond anything else but it's a relationship you know you have to do and work so yeah <laughs> yeah you know and and, and um, just to uh, i have like just like one or two more questions mm -hmm. and then i want you know you to just like repeat what you do and who you are yeah. so people can know. uh however like when you were when you were vegan and when you were not vegan or when you were more so just adopting different elements of your health journey mm -hmm. like there were good things that you learned you know what i mean there were things that really served you and, and you were like oh okay well i never knew that i never i never took the time to consider that right like there were good things so there were some that, um or there were some loser cons to It's a little bit of a lag. So. Okay. Okay. All right. I think it's back. You can go ahead. I'm just listening. Okay. Yeah, it was. It um, like I was experiencing opposite ends of the spectrum at the same time. Like, um, you know, I had started my herbalism studies at that time. I learned so much more about food and nutrition. Um, that was a foundation for me with a lot of things that I know now, you know, in present day, like that there were some cons, you know, there were some things that I had to be real about myself 
with this journey and I had to be okay with change. You know, like, okay, this uh, season in my life for this purpose and it's okay. You know, it's okay to be like, I thought, you know, because I thought I would be like that forever, right? <laughs> I thought, you know, it's I'll be a hybrid is what I call myself forever because this is my thing. But um, there were certain things that I needed to learn so that I'm like, okay, if I'm going to do this, I need to make sure I'm supplementing with this, 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 and that, you know? Um, and for me, my personal journey, having children, it's like, let me make sure I get my nutrients in the, not only the best way, but sometimes the fastest way, I'm just going to be honest, the fastest way possible so that I'm nourishing myself and I'm also passing this down to my children, you know? Um, I'm six months pregnant with my second, and um, I went through yet another food revelation, right? Um, mm -hmm. My children, they just, none of them are vegan or vegetarian. They did not come here with that, you know, mission or anything. And so I was like, okay, what is it that I need now? Okay, uh, this time, right before conceiving, it was beef. And I, I had that moment where I was like, I'm eating too much beef. I need to chill. But my body was like, girl, we are good. Please sit down. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> um, and this is something I talked to Miss Karen Boone about. Um, because, you know, fibroids and things like that. And so I was working on my hormones. Um, and it was working. Um, to this day, I would say when I last time I got a sonogram, Yes, I still have fibroids that I'm working on. Um, shrinking is it's mainly just one big one, and then there's like two little small ones. One of them has already started to calcify. Mm. I have not been vegan or vegetarian. I've, like I said, I've been a tosh-tarian. I've been eating what it is that I need to eat based mm. on what I So my body confirms that, lets me know mm. I'm good. You know, um, some of the symptoms that I had with my first child before I made a decision to just eat the meat. <laughs> I haven't painted nothing or felt like that. Felt, you know, I haven't had any of those symptoms during this pregnancy. This is probably the most chillest pregnancy that I have had health wise. The only thing I was like, oh, I can actually sit down now. <laughs> I can actually rest. I can actually do these things. And I'm in a much better um, situation as well because going through that shifted me and it brought me to where I'm at now with the knowledge and the intuition that I have now. Um, my face, you know, I used to break out really bad. I used to have like really big, um, you know, pimples and stuff. I did get into skincare. I did have professional skincare services done to keep my face, you know, facials and stuff like that. But even when I went back to meet, you know, I still wasn't having a problem. Like I break out here and there, but I know exactly what's making me break out. Right, I do, right. even it's gone, <laughs> you know, but I have still seen some of those benefits from back then. Um, my digestive system is still way better than it was then. And that's also from doing spiritual and chakra energy work as well. Um, you know, and there's a lot, so some people on here that do, have, do know me from that time. Um, I did gain a little bit of weight back. Clearly, I gained weight because I'm, you know, I'm pregnant. And that was a big thing for me for a while because, I, you know, my weight had hardly changed, you know, especially back then when I started um, having children probably because of the hormonal, you know, fluctuations from being in that previous lifestyle, my body was like, bitch, you got, <laughs> you got to gain weight. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I gained 30, probably a little over 30 pounds with my first. And, you know, right after I had um, lost the 15 pounds, but there was a good mm, 15 to 17 pounds. It's like, yeah, we're not going anywhere because you literally yeah. need this to make your milk. So it's almost like my body recovered in a way of, gaining the weight that I needed at that time, you know, um, and still, you know, like still going through that, but I feel a lot more healthier. I feel a lot more alive and confident, like, Hey, this is what's working for me. Everybody else can do what they want. But knowing that I also wasn't the only one that was experiencing this, I made a post on Facebook and, um, Karen, yeah, right? was with it. and I knew she was talking about it already, but I had found out, Two weeks ago, I'm no longer anemic. I had no idea. <laughs> I was um, living and and being present with my body, and mm -hmm. to hear to get blood work done by my nurse midwives, and then nobody hit me up, nobody called me. Usually that means everything's good, but I checked in with them like, 
is my is my blood work okay? Like nobody said anything. And they were like, You're good. <laughs> and I was yes. like, Can you check that again? You sure? You know? And when I went to my other naturopathic doctor, I would say back in March, I was anemic. So a lot of things changed again in the last almost five to six months. Um, and I'm just grateful. Like I was, that was the best thing that could have heard that day. Now, so this is recent as a week and a half. I'm, I'm no longer anemic. You know, um, my blood volume is good. I am going to get my hemoglobin checked um, in a couple of weeks, but they were like, your ferritin's good. All of those things, you're good. You know, you're, you're fine. You may have the, um, you may be a little bit more predisposed to becoming anemic because you're pregnant, but yeah. whatever you're doing, just keep doing it, <laughs> you know, because you're, you're good. So that, that let me know, like, I'm on the right track with what I need from my body and my journey. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's so important. You did, you know, that, that really is the reason why I even, I even wrote the book self-care regulations is that, it literally is like from my from my perspective and, and my experience as a trainer, like these foundations that you're just like going through, like looking these observations, looking at your health, and, and mm -hmm. it's really just like what you're saying. You know, your your what time you defecate, when what your pee looks like, like what you're eating. You know, what is your skin telling you? What is your digestion, your gut, your, and getting these tests and having a team that you trust to be able to you know to to go back and forth with. Mm -hmm. what you're doing what they're saying and that's so important you know and that's the reason why that's the reason why i wanted to bring you on as well is because like this is you're you're not somebody who just did something and didn't have people who were checkpointing you who are you know in, in the professional field you know mm -hmm. so and and that's so important so uh uh oh you broke up a little bit again there you are. There you are. All right. So, yeah. So, I just want to go ahead and, you know, wrap this up. And mm -hmm. I have a few questions. I see some people, some people eating. Okay. Some, some people saying, uh, do you eat liver? Um, okay. I don't. My grandmother used to make it, though. <laughs> it's not my favorite. <laughs> but, no, I don't I don't eat it. It's, Bro, but you know what though? Hmm? If you throw that, if you throw that beef liver in with some beef bacon, and you like saute that bacon, mm -hmm. and then you cook the beef, liver, cook the liver with the onions, and then put mm -hmm. the liver in with the thyme and the and the rosemary and the sage. I mean, the, uh, the bay leaf. You mm -hmm. can't even taste the liver. It, you can't even. Taste oh wow! It's See, learn something new every day. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely like as long as it tastes good, it don't taste like my grandmother used to make it. I will, I'm open to it. My husband, he loves to cook. I cook too, but he be like putting his thing thing on us. I'm like, babe, can you can you hook me up some liver, some some beef yeah, bacon yeah. And, and all of that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> do that for real. But you know what? I was gonna ask you, you already answered it. I was just I wanted to ask you too, just um again, so people can get an understanding, like so what are you eating? Like, how are you eating now? You know what I mean? What do you yeah. eat versus then? And how do you feel now with how you eat versus then when you were eating? Um, so one thing I emphasize now that I didn't then is breakfast. Okay. Eating in the morning. Um, I'm not a heavy eater in the morning. I don't like super big. I just... Beyond my eating lifestyles, that's just not naturally something that I like. Um, it take I usually that I don't really get up to eat eat you know until about ten eleven. Um, mm -hmm. If I can sing anything prior to that time, it's usually like teas and water, um, you know, some fruit. And um, nowadays I eat. Um, it's getting it's getting cooler, so my I do go by I do like eating by the seasons. That's that's another thing I never got a chance to talk about because that was something I was also doing before I went completely vegan um but when the seasons change I do change what I'm eating and so now I'm eating a little bit more oatmeal cream of wheat okay baby just come in here um some cereal some fortified cereals um my husband got me on great greens it wasn't my thing but then I was like oh this is this is helping me okay I'm gonna eat this and it's pretty good <laughs> you know so Sometimes I eat those things. It really depends on how I'm feeling. If I ate heavier the day before, I tend to fast pretty much. 
um, from most of the morning up until about 12. And um, I would call it intermittent fasting, but it's really intuitive fasting. I don't really fully follow intermittent fasting like that. It's, okay, body, do you want to eat right now? You don't? Okay, let's just do fluids, you know, or shakes or, you know, something like that. Um, so breakfast is big. I have to eat something. And with me being pregnant, I can't fast or not eat for too long. My baby's like, <laughs> can you eat something, please? You know, so with that for breakfast, um, definitely eating more live foods so that's you know i know, I know at some point the the buzzword was electric food so basically eating foods that still have life and it's still live so um i still like to eat raw veggies and raw fruits um that's just something across the board um it helps with like for my digestive system i need the fiber um i do have supplements that help me to keep my electrolytes and my hydration in place I am a person that does not believe that water gives you all your hydration. I just, but, it does not, <laughs> you know, yeah. so I do try to eat as many water-based fruits and vegetables as possible. So cucumbers and um, tomatoes and things like that. Um, like I said, I, I do eat more beef. I still eat, you know, I basically it's eating more things in moderation. Um, mm -hmm. I eat beef when I need to. I eat, I eat chicken. I do eat a little bit more turkey now. Um, just currently right now, um, more seeds, you know, it's, it's almost like being vegan vegetarian made me aware of the non-meat sources, but I just added, kind of just added the meat back. Um, and then also checking the sources of what I'm eating. So, you know, you can eat beef and you can make sure you get the best damn source of meat possible, whatever, something that was emphasized to me and I stuck with it. So I'm out here in Eastern Shores where I live now and it's, it's a whole bunch of farms and farmers markets and stuff out here. So me and my husband was like, look, we're gonna start going to butchers and, and really getting our meats from these places, which is something I always wanted to do on a regular anyway. I'm just now in that environment that supports that. Um, mm -hmm. So as long as I know that my meat is being sourced as organically and ethically as possible, I'm eat it. <laughs> You know, yes. um, and you know, you have your moments where you just got to go to the grocery store and pick a few things up. But um, as long as I'm, you know, filling up on everything else, I'm good. Um, carbs, I need my carbs. Um, I can't have too many carbs, like too many carbs. I still can't have too many starches and grains. But it's just a matter of knowing, okay, which ones work for my body? How much can I eat before my body's like, can you stop? <laughs> you know, just want to constipate you or things like that. And um, probiotics and prebiotics is something that I learned was super important for my digestive system. Um, apple cider vinegar as well. You know, if I don't have anything else, I'm like, I've gotten back and said, let me just take, you know, let me just dilute some of this. I got my husband on it recently. Um, yeah, just fermented foods, um, kimchi. I was doing, um, sorry, y'all, that was my husband calling, but um, fermented foods, sauerkraut, you know, things like that. Just focusing on what's going to nourish my digestive system and what's going to help rebalance my gut flora because that was my biggest thing. And just focusing more on that while still eating the meats and the, the things that I need, you know, I've been good. <laughs> you know, I don't no, think. Yeah, I've been doing the same. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, I just, before we wrap up, I just wanted to say, like, Two things you noted that you said that I noticed too. Pregnant women generally stop being vegan. And that's something I saw happen so many times yeah. throughout. Like, I was like, man, like, women would get pregnant and be like, girl, I need you a burger. Yes. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, no. like, no, I couldn't. I didn't want no vegetables. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want no chicken. I wanted some, you know. And so, you you know, you hear that when you're vegan, you're kind of like, dang, okay, you just needed this nutrient. But no, it's like so much more to it than just this nutrient or whatever, right? Yeah. But, um, but that's funny because you, so many vegan people are so, and I know, you know, some doulas like who promote vegan diets or whatever as a doula, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to get into that. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get into that. At least I'm going to have a whole separate thing for that one. Mm -hmm. But like, still though, it's just like, I noticed that pregnant women do not veganism is not goes is not gonna stand next to a pregnant woman. Like she really is about to eat this fish, this you know the, the, the oils, everything, everything. <laughs> she's gonna end, you know. Mm -hmm. she's, 
And then the second thing was uh, breakfast. What I learned about breakfast, my grandmother always says breakfast is the most important part of the day. Yes. And she didn't mean like that philosophical thing where we'd be like, oh, whenever you eat breakfast and you're breaking your fast, that's your breakfast. No, she mm -hmm. meant when you after you wake up in the morning. Yes. You need to eat breakfast. And what I learned with balancing my hormones was that you need breakfast in the morning, and specifically for women, we need like protein. We, yes. we, need the, we need that in the morning, and it helps us to balance our blood sugar, which helps us to balance the, that endocrine system to, to work properly for the Yes. Hormones. Yeah. And I noticed that when I have sugar and like fruit sugar or like sugar in the morning versus protein, I notice a difference in what I eat throughout the day. I tend to yes. snack more when I'm eating sugar. I tend to you know, eat more sugar throughout the day, whereas when I have meat in the morning, it's more like, you know, I, I feel more satiated. I tend to eat meals. I mm -hmm. tend to drink. What do you mean? Like, it's just, it's different. So, yes. those are things or whatever too that really help my, really help my health. Yeah, eggs too. I meant to mention eggs, like, the other day. I would say maybe like a week ago, my body was like, I just want some eggs <laughs> in the morning. Yeah, exactly. So eggs, hook it up with a little, I think I ate like some turkey sausage with it, yeah. maybe uh, some applesauce. And I was, <laughs> I was straight, you know? So yes, it is. It is. Um, yes, that is very true. The breakfast, it just sets the tone for your whole day, especially. Yeah. I, I found out about there. protein actually okay. more recently is with last year. Um, when I ate more protein, I noticed that I wasn't, like you said, snacking as much. I didn't get as hungry. I was fuller longer. Um, and so I just thought, okay, let me eat more of these things based on what my moderation is. And I'm good. Yeah. And it's so funny that it's so funny. That's how that is, you know, cause we go through this whole vegan thing where you be like, oh, you know, the, the slave food. And it's like, now I find myself eating gizzards and eating liver and eating, <laughs> right. you know, the foods that I grew up eating, which really is what what saved me because I grew up on home cooked meals. So you know, I, you know, like I, yeah, yeah, some of the processed food, but for real, like we had meals. So mm -hmm. it was it's funny to me how the food I grew up on is the food that healed me, mm -hmm. and yet while I was vegan, I was bashing it so much. You yeah. know, yes. Um, but you yeah. want to say something? Um, I was going to say that um, there's a woman on, a black woman on Instagram, her name is Black Nutritionist. Okay. I, she pretty much aligns with everything that we're talking about. And um, yeah, if, if you're not following her, please do, because she's like, a, she's a legit nutritionist. She talks about how we let go of our soul food and our ancestral food. Okay, just wait, baby, because of what society told us we had to let go of, right? When those things were still good for us. They're not <laughs> or leftovers or things. Like, we found creative ways to get everything that we needed in times where we needed it, you know? Um, so I would definitely follow her as well, you know? Um, if you're looking for more information on that, that aligns with everything that we talking about big time. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm going to reach out to her as well. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I just want to say thank you, number one, for, you know, your time. I know it was, like, kind of shaky getting on. Um, yeah. That kind of inter that kind of interruption, nobody could have planned for it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, and, two, I just want to say, too, like, I know we did it in the beginning, but just remind people, like, of what you do and how, like, what products and services that you have and okay. how they can you know, find you. Okay, so I am a sensuality and womb magic wellness coach. So I help women to tap back into their sensuality while also helping them to heal and clear their wombs to help dynamically change their lives. I believe that women with wombs, if you tune into it, if you're nourishing it, um, if you're clearing trauma, tapping back into that is really going to help you get to where you want to go in life. It can dynamically change things. So many women work with me and take new business opportunities themselves. They have been able to conceive when they weren't able to at first. Um, I've seen so many wonderful, wonderful things. So make sure that you're following me. Um, all of my information is on my page. Um, I know that Instagram has their algorithms and things like that, but you can check out my content and personally send me a DM if you want more information. Um, so yeah. <laughs>
Hey, okay. All right, well, yeah, guys, make sure you follow her. I know we're on her page right now, so please be sure that you follow her. That should be pretty easy to do. As soon as you check out, you just follow her. Uh, follow me at Jean-Yo Maria. I talk about, I teach entrepreneurs and business owners how to build business credit. Um, and on the weekend, I talk about self-care. So during the week, I talk about business. And on the weekend, I talk about self-care. And this is a part of that self-care because I truly know that as an entrepreneur, like I said in the beginning, in order for you to have and be your best and be successful, like you really choose to be, mm. you your health needs to be a one as well. So uh, yeah. if you have a vegan story, you know, I'm doing a special edition, Confessions of Black Ex Vegans, because this is going with my book that's launching, which is Confessions of Ex Vegan. So um, this is something I'm really doing for the culture because we really need to wake up. Uh, <laughs> we really need to wake up we need somebody that's going to be like hey this is not working for everybody really they're working for many but yes. we need something that's going to shake people up and um, that's what this is so make sure you follow us and you can text me bizcredit at 251-572-9892 if you uh, would like to get some free links to be able to build your business credit I have a class starting next week so make sure you do that so I can teach you how to build business credit all right. All right, mommy. Thank you so much. Now, okay. I'll hit you up after this. Bye.